When we're discussing the row, there is a particular neck position that I want, and it's kind of like just the, the neutral or the uh, desired position in all your other lifts as well, pretty much. Um, so as I'm doing a row, I want a slight little curve in the base of my neck, and I want my head to just kind of follow in with it. What you'll notice is um, people tend to like tilt one way or shift one way instead of keeping that nice little curve. We're generally looking for a collective curve of about 30 degrees if I made a nice angle from it all. Um, we call that your cervical lordosis. That is just the normal curve that your neck is supposed to have. Uh, you don't really need to know that term, but you do need to know what the right position is. So I, when I'm trying to find it, what I like to do is I like to just take my eyes and I like to look up. And then as I look up, eventually I get my neck to start curving. You know, at the start, I can just do my eyes and my neck doesn't have to move. But if I keep looking up, eventually my neck will get to a reasonable position. Now, this is not where I want to row from. Man, ooh, that is hard to do on my eyeballs. <laughs> this is not where I want to row from because my head is too far tilted back. I don't want to row like this. I don't, there's no, um, you know, the head is still part of the neck, okay? And so I want that to follow that normal cervical lordosis. So again, when I'm trying to find the right position, I look my eyes up until I get a slight curve in my neck and I just check to make sure I'm in a, an okay position by turning my head. And if I don't feel too blocked in either direction, then I can feel pretty comfortable that I'm in the right spot. If I am flat in my neck and I try to turn, I can't turn as far and I feel a lot of tension in the back of my neck there. And it's the same idea if I'm too far back here, it feels like I'm choking, okay? So play with that, use your eyes to guide the movement and get that nice normal cervical lordosis. Now, once I get up here and I feel like, oh yeah, I'm loosey-goosey, I'm feeling good here. Now, I need to tilt my head down, my chin down, until my gaze is about forward or maybe even slightly upward, just to bias myself into a nice curve. And then I can double check that I still have my motion by turning my head and you may even feel like you have more motion now because now the, um, OA joint, the head, is in the right position, and that's not blocked either. That is our desired position during the row.